April the 26th, 1995. And we're at the moving of this Dawson house to a new site by the developers. It is uh, almost approximately 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Now oh, this gentleman, can you give me your name again? Robert Metcalf. Robert Metcalf uh, is the uh, owner of the company? Well, we're, I'm the president of the president Armadale, Armadale Properties. Properties. And, president uh, of Armadale Properties. And uh, he found some records in, in, the, in the house and in the barn that uh, he's going to present to the Historical Society. And maybe you can tell us, Robert, where you found these records. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, we found them uh, in the basement of the Dawson Manor. And uh, they were the old historical records of sort of accounting from the times way back, you know, what things cost from firewood to people's wages, to what types of food they bought. And uh, so we plan to turn those over to you as, the, as part of the uh, Canada's history. Uh, reporters, and uh, we're just delighted to be able to save this home and, uh, and, and work with you and, uh, and others. Black Act, Black Act, and the uh, Mayor John Cole and the staff, uh, they've been terrific uh, making sure okay. that we did this properly. And you, you, th you think they may have been some of the original records uh, that uh, the gentleman who first built this house? I, is, is there any record? his heirs, certainly his heirs, either he or his heirs would be there's no name, name on, on any. No, there's there. no name, but they uh, they're certainly uh, old enough to be uh, uh, to be of historical interest for sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm very pleased to be here. Good. Thanks very much, Robert. Uh, his equipment alone, for example, is uh, 30 tons. And the house he's going to move is uh, 300 tons. And 300 tons in. Uh, Way of, uh, in another way of explaining it is 120 uh, Chevy Blazers. That's what uh, would be the equivalent. Or, or 600,000 pounds of butter. It really is a big job that's uh, being undertaken. So was, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here and the people at uh, Don who built the road and, uh, and others. They've just done a wonderful job uh, to make this happen. So thank you for coming and uh, we'll get on with photographs. Bob, would you like to stand your next right here? Okay, can I have a photo shot now, please? Okay. Hey, smile. I've got all the stuff in the car. Just, um, I'll give you give you the rundown on, on the back. Hey, thank you very much, everybody. Just have everybody. Everybody just take it for The importance of our heritage is very critical to those of us that we live here. Obviously, not as long as as this building, but our history is very important to us when it comes to. Community and what New Market is all about. And it's very important as we look to the future, preserving our history through this kind of an action. Um, Bob and, and his group, and, and Ron, everyone else, uh, have assured us, uh, along with Blackback, of, of the preservation of this very historic building, uh, putting it in, in nice surroundings, uh, replanting the trees, not only here on and off the site, but also in our parks. And, and so we're really very positive about the results of this kind of move. I think it'll do a lot of things for the community and enable us to to keep these kind of buildings within the community and uh, that history will preserve, be preserved for a long time. So despite all the comments that are often made about developers and builders, how they're just coming in and carrying away the things that are important to us, we have made sure and with the cooperation of these people, 
I really want to thank him and the community, Lazarus, everyone who's been involved. Uh, I think it's a great distance to be able to be here and I uh, wish you well for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much to Lori McCullough. I hope you've all met uh, Lori and, and all the people that are working with Lori. He was a uh, special person uh, that we found to uh, make sure this happened properly. And he was the uh, he was the big daddy to make sure we didn't uh, do anything wrong to uh, this house. So he set the rules for us. So, Lori, congratulations. Thank you, Bob. They've lived up to their part, and they haven't uh, they haven't flinched. Uh, just a little flinch, not uh, <laughs> <laughs> that bad. Uh, they followed everything that we've recommended and everything LAC Act has recommended. And I guess the next stage is to get it up and over this hill, and that'll happen shortly. Very good. Okay, well, thank, thank you, you very much. <clears throat> It has to go up this road, and uh, that there's a second truck there for the hill, and uh, they're going to run it right up the hill to, to another position. So they're not going to make the complete move today. Truck, or at least uh, hooking up the third truck to the whole deal to take the pressure off that center beam. They're hooking uh, a chain to the other side because the apparently the uh, the uh, center of this truck that's un underneath the building, uh, the frame would be twisted. So. What they're doing is they, they're hooking it so that it will pull evenly on the two sides of the of the uh, that big beam that you see across the back of the of the uh, house. So this truck is the main truck, and it's it's uh, going to haul it. And then the other two trucks, this one here that they just brought in, will haul one side and. This truck on this side will haul the other the other side of it. So it will come evenly. And you look, you can see the, the cable there. And a second cable on the ground there. These, the, this, on both sides. Now the problem is that that, that cable snips. Okay, so the, the cables are taut. Now comes the 